What's up everybody, it's Neil with Nexus 7 Softmodder. Today I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the application switcher called Looper. Looper minus the E. So go to Google Play, look up Looper, L-O-P-P-R, task switcher, it's in beta, it's fairly, fairly new. I've already downloaded it, open it up, go through the quick and minimal options you have. Um, Edit trigger is probably the main one. You can edit the sensitivity. See how sensitive it is when you actually hit the trigger. You can move the trigger. You can actually move it all the way down to extend the length of your screen if that's what you want. Sorry, mine's a little delayed right now. For the sake of this video, let's just leave it at that. Um, you can also edit the transition effect. So when you actually switch to an app, it can either fade, slide up, zoom fade. Let's just do the slide up. And you can also select a delay on the on the trigger. So when you tap it, there's one fourth of a second delay. I'm gonna put none because screw delays. Okay. So your triggers on the side, just pull over wherever your trigger is, and you can easily cycle through your active apps. Tap on the plus sign and back in the middle, and it'll cycle through more apps that you have open. The alternative would be using the soft key, but I don't know. It's, it's not as quick as I want it to be. This one's really quick, and you can use it while inside of applications. It's um, it's efficient. It does a job. Oh, oh, my thing is upside down. Um. There is a paid version that offers you extra little features like transitions and whatnot. There is one feature that is actually pretty um, interesting. It's called Preview. You can actually hover over an application and it'll turn a full screen little preview of that application and what you were on. That's the only thing I would actually consider getting, but it's about 273 and I wouldn't buy it just for that. Um, another thing I don't like about this is that you can't kill apps. That would be just a really good added feature if you could just like hover over it and slide it away or something just to kill it because that's the main reason why I want to use um, the applications which are just to get rid of these apps. But I mean if you're looking for an alternative that's quick and easy within an app or any screen, try this out. Let me know if you guys like it. Subscribe. See the full article on Nexus 7 Soft Modder and let me know if you guys have any trouble. I provided links to the um, Google Play Store so you can easily download it. Alright, thanks guys and enjoy it.